All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another day in the life of the poor man road to glory. What an evening it was, boys. You guys caught the IRL Canada versus Venezuela watch party with myself and my family. I still have a bleeding, blasting headache and uh, neck ache from celebrating that game last night, man. Even working past the most corrupt referee I've ever seen in my life. I, I just cannot believe that four games in a row now, Canada have been screwed by the most obnoxiously corrupt CONCACAF, whatever you want to call them, man. Uh, South American specific uh, referees I've ever seen in my life. Just the most disgraceful displays of officiating that anyone can ever see. And somehow we still did it in a penalty shootout, man. Alfonso Davies, in the most clutch moment ever, banging, banging a penalty top right, then Crepo making a save, then the youngster, mine and Ethan's superhero, Mr. Ishmael Kone, coming on and ice cold slotting a pen in the net for us to win. Our very own Canadian Rude Hullet slotting a pen away, absolutely erupt, man. So excited. So very happy about that. To start off the day, I thought we'd celebrate with a 91 plus encore icon player pick pack whatever the heck you want to call it uh we've got a ton of packs ready to go we're kind of cooking with the brazil national team and champs i'll show you you guys will see the record um unfortunately youtube you guys haven't gotten much gameplay or anything like that specifically in champs but that's just how some how it goes sometimes there should be uh, a good chunk of gameplay today in champs we're watching q3 right now of qualifying in f1 for silverstone so i want to be paying attention to all of that and then as you can see, my mom and her inside, entire side of the family's home nation, the Netherlands, are playing a little bit later. So obviously, I'm going to be proudly supporting the Netherlands as well. As a football fan, I've known nothing but pain. Being a Canadian sports fan, being a Leeds fan, being a Netherlands fan as a kid, being half Lebanese. Lebanon just barely even has sports teams. And in 24 hours, I could see both my nations go into the semifinals of the Euros and the Copa. I please God. Please let Cody Gakpo cook. Let Chavi Simmons cook. Let Memphis finally do a little bit more than just link up play and score a couple of goals. Please, Memphis. I oh God. I would love to see that happen. Can we get a fun birthday hullet? No chance at Cruyff. Okay, that's that's a fun birthday, I believe. No, 91 rated. That's pain. That's pain. Should I tweet that at Zway? Watch me get a Balak now, too. Okay, that's another oh, birthday, I think. 91, bro. What are these picks, man? Why do I do these Icon SBCs, bro? They're so bad. Holy. Come on. Give me one great to the game, man. Yes! Oh my god, it's team of the year, actually. Oh my god, imagine R9 or Dino. I've been a good boy, EA. I've been the best boy. Give me an R9 or Dino. I freaking beg. Come on! No! Who's that? No! Oh my god! It's Chavi! <laughs> That's so bad! That's so ass! I already have his greats of the game card! Yeah, we'll go Basti. None of these matter anyways. Yeah, where's the plus? That, that looks like, like just a 91 icon pick. God, Rooney's now 97, I forgot. So if England scored two goals, he gets a 99 rated stat? Probably 99 passing, right? So... We got uh, Festival Football Champs Reward. I, there's no way we're getting the 70 wins, man. There's no way. I think we need... So we need another 9. I need to go 16-4 and four this weekend. Which is, I think, the first Champs bonus I will not finish with. I didn't realize it was this hard this time around. Well, actually, because we kept getting 12 wins with all the nations. And I think you need to average 13 or 14 wins, right? That's why. And uh, in terms of the Champs grind, uh, we're at probably our best run yet with a Brazil squad. So pretty proud of what we're doing here. The problem is this type of success only means every single match going forward is going to be crazier and crazier and crazier. So, well, England is not giving us anything to be excited about. So hopefully as we take over to 6 p.m. content on this lovely Saturday, watching England, Switzerland and being bored to death, I'm hoping EA gives us something to be excited about. I will say after 24 hours experiencing this new Path to Glory promo, I am devastatingly bored and shocked by two things. First of all, how dead all content has been. Second of all, how impossible it is to pack any of the players. Now, you guys would have seen yesterday that we did pack a 1.2 million Farron Torres. He's 500k now, but nevertheless, he was 1.2 million. Then at the end of the epi, we packed a 7-800k 
Kyle Walker, who was a million coins a, a few seconds earlier, but then as he's out in packs again, he drops down. So I'm not denying that we haven't had great pack luck. Today, though, we haven't got anything so far. We've done a two-hour straight grind. I've packed nothing. Literally nothing and i've opened so many big packs so let's see what 6 p.m content looks like hopefully there's a better more fun evo for us 96 rated action on the pitch continues create your next glow up this is like an why would they put aerial all the rest of the play styles look like an attacking minded midfielder type of player holy god the defending and physical gets skyrocketed so you'd kind of want this for a box-to-box -box midfielder if anything oh that's terrible <laughs> Okay, we're not doing coops. Any of my fellow Leeds fans will love this. Five star, four star? Oh, I mean, the, the, obviously, the aerial is a bit moronic. But otherwise, that is a fun as hell card. I think we're going to do Alioski. That'll be the new Leeds uh, past and present left back for sure. They refreshed the Encore Path to Glories, which are a ripoff. I'm not doing these anymore. Maybe they give us a good player. <laughs> They gave us Vegvorst! Okay, fine, fine. That's very dead, but I'm definitely doing this. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, they gave him Ariel as well. Oh, Ariel and Power Shot and Rapid. This might be one of the most broken cards in the game. I might take Erling Haaland out of the team, guys. I'm not even kidding. He could be freaking 98 rated if the Netherlands win it all. Just for the memes. This is the second coming of Klaasian Huntelaar, boys. All right, so that's a W for me as, obviously, uh, a duchy. Complete and celebrate the World Championship Finals with Tex and Max. And they gave us two English players. By the way, two of the most boring English players I've ever seen. I don't know why these cards... It, I think either these cards should come out with four playstyles originally, or if you win, the card should get an extra playstyle plus. And 93 as well, I agree, is so dead. At this point in the game, these have to be 94 or 95s to begin with. Do you guys want me to like look at the um, the requirements? Do you guys care? So 87 rated for Grealish, Man City player. I don't even think someone like Armalika would care. There's no even dynamic image on these guys. 87 for Grealish, 86 for um, Henderson. No way for this week they gave us 86 double upgrades. 84 by 4s and 85 by 5s are gone for 86 by 2s for the next week? They've brought back 86 by 2s. Let me guess, at a cost of an 85 squad, right? Oh my god, this is... They should go to jail for war crimes against the community. And 1... 184 plus by 10. They could do this once a day and it still wouldn't be enough. It's July, the middle of the Copa and Euro knockouts, and EA have just killed the game. All year long, I've happily grinded this game on stream to the Twitch viewers and to some extent to the YouTube viewers. I would argue for six to eight hours a day, being blissfully joyous, even in the worst of gameplay. I can't lie, guys. We might go in. I never was expecting in July, but we might go down to playing this game two hours a day, two, three hours a day. Play this game until we see 6 p.m. content. Until there's something grindable and something worthwhile to do, this is just a waste of time. I can't do six to eight hours a day, guys, of grinding the most pointless packs, the non-rewarding, non-recyclable packs, with no players available in packs, the pack weight being terrible, and the gameplay being terrible for, for seven hours a day. I can't. What else do I, I, what else do, guys, what actually else do I do? As much as I want to play this game, what do we do? There's nothing to do. Am I just going to keep recycling the same boring gameplay eight hours a day? Okay. All right, we got some 85 by fives remaining. Maybe we'll get something from the ease. Oh, here we go. Scotland. Who? Arsenal. Oh, it could be anybody. Who's that? Yo! Oh my god, we need him for the Brazil team! Okay, seriously. That's what's up, boys. Oh my god. We get nothing for hours at a time, and then we get a huge pull. I, I, I don't even know what to think about this stupid event, man. It's so frustrating because all the content is bad, the players are impossible to pack, but at least selfishly for me and my road to glory, I seem to just pack sick players that I want. So I don't know if I can even be justified in complaining. How are we only packing the most cracked players? They play Uruguay tonight too. Do you guys think that Brazil's gonna get clapped by Marcelo Bielsa?
Wow! Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was 700k. I would have guessed maybe three or 400k. But I didn't think 700k, nor did I think 180k. But that works. Oh, you're right. Because if, if they win tonight, they'll get three wins. You're right. So he'll get a PS Plus and go to 97 rated if Brazil win tonight. But if, selfishly, if Uruguay win, also, it's going to be nuts too. Because I've got like three or four beast Uruguayan players. I, I kind of want Brazil to win for Rafinha. I'm not going to be upset if Uruguay win because they're playing beautiful football and Marcelo Bielsa is a god. But um, yeah, either way, this RTG is so stacked. Whoever wins from Brazil, um, Uruguay tonight, we're gonna we're gonna be absolutely cooking. All right. Um, you know what, man? I think we're gonna call it there for the uh, live recording for YouTube, boys. That Bruno Guamareish or whatever might be the best pull we can get. So I think I might call it there for the uh, live recording. Let's open one final pack to finish it off, though. I don't want to just finish it off on the last few minutes. But as always, to the YouTube live viewers, thank you guys for supporting. To the couple hundred of you guys that are still watching, um, thank you, thank you. If Hopefully you guys enjoyed the recordings. Uh, again, apologies that you guys got, what, two games today? No um, uh, no champs, but it is it is what it is. Come Monday, we'll probably focus a little bit more on gameplay. It just depends on what games are going on, right? With the Euros going on, it's really hard to play competitive champs games at the same time. It's a lot easier to just kind of mindlessly do a menu grind while I'm selfishly, me and my community are watching the Euro games. I hope you guys understand that for the time being, that with the games going on, the gameplay during the live recordings uh, are going to be a little bit more sporadic. Again, twitch.tv slash nick 20 to any of you guys on YouTube that wanted to come hang out on stream over here, you're more than welcome to come hang out. Um, maybe one of my mods can put the, uh, the, the, the Twitch link in the YouTube live section, but, uh, I do appreciate you guys. I am off tomorrow. Like I said, I'm taking my family and extended family. We're all going hunting and fishing, uh, in the mountains tomorrow. We're just getting away. We're getting away, but I'm making sure I'm getting a cell signal because I do want to have the games on in the background. So that's going to be kind of fun. I'm going to be in the peace of nature, hunting and fishing while listening <coughs> to football. In fact, while I'm hunting tomorrow, what... What, what 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 content are we consuming? We got the F1 race. Oh, you know what? No. The perfect day to go hunting tomorrow. There's no games. <coughs> There's no games. There's zero games, guys. So I'll actually get to watch F1 at home before we leave cuz it's very early morning and then by 8 a.m. we'll be out on the road. I'll, I'll get to be in the mountains and not worry about missing out on any content. Fantastic. I also have no idea why my PC is exploding. All right, we're back. Um, so let's open an 84 by 20 and see what we can get out of this to end off the episode. We did get a Bruno. We'll finish with the 87 by 4. It looks like Mr. Bruno is going to be the big pull of the day today, which is not bad. I mean, the icon pick not really paying out was a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Holy, an 87 by 4. An 87 by 4? We didn't finish with anything? If there's no dupes here, never mind. I was going to say, if there's no dupes, we'll do another pack. I don't want to go sit here and do No Man Left Behind for the outro. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. We'll catch you on Monday. We should have some update in um, Champs gameplay in terms of where we stand. And we'll have a bunch of packs ready to go as well for Monday. And hopefully we get 82 plus packs back. Because I don't know if I can do another week of grinding with 81 PPs and only 86 by 2s as the daily refresh. So, much love. Appreciate you all. God bless. Oh my god, and Mbolo scored! Our boy has scored against England in the 74th minute! What a way to end off the episode! I wonder, can England do anything in the next 15 minutes other than make us want to fall asleep? And on that bombshell, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!